What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon, uh, Earthmaster here jumping in. It is the uh, first day of May, May 1st, 2021. It's a date, Saturday, about 1.40 p.m. West Coast time here in California. The latest quake out here on the globe is a 3.0, specifically right here in Northern California and pretty much right under my feet once again here. Did not feel this earthquake. Um, I'm not for sure if anybody did. It was kind of a deeper earthquake here right in the town or city of Chico, just to the northeast of there, on a little fault fault structure. It doesn't show it here on this map, uh, but it's known as the Chico Monocline Fault. It's a little short, uh, little short fault system that runs up here on the east side of the Sacramento Valley. Of course, uh, a lot of plate tectonics and whatnot over history have um, built up the Sierra Nevadas to the west, and also uh, the uh, uh, the coast range to the uh, to the west. Sierra Nevada to the east, coast range to the west. There we go. I was trying to trying to figure that out. Um, so it's it's not uncommon to see earthquake activity out here in the northern Sacramento Valley and even right around Chico, California. Did a little history update here just for you guys uh, from, oh, about 120 years or so. This is general earthquake activity 2.0 and above uh, for northern California, or at least for the Chico area. Uh, Willows over here, Thermalito, Oroville, all that stuff. Up along the foothills, you get into some more seismically active zones. But here around Chico, California, uh, there's, you know, it, it happens. It's not something to uh, worry about. In fact, last a couple years ago, it was a 3.0 there in uh, 2019. Um, and some further movement uh, right around in, in the city of Chico, 2.5, 21 kilometers. So not uncommon to see earthquake activity. In Northern California, in the specific area of Chico, into the Sacramento Valley, it happens. Uh, the Great Valley uh, is what it once was at one time, a great lake. If you go back even further, it's kind of interesting to think about um, the area that I live in here as being a, a norm, an enormous lake. Pretty cool. Um, let's see, what, uh, what were we going to check out here real quick? Uh, there's a couple in-depth details uh, and explanations about uh, the tectonics of the Sacramento Valley and whatnot. I'll go ahead and leave this publication into the link into uh, the description below so you guys can read a little bit about it. Uh, it's pretty cool. If you live here around Chico, California, uh, quite, quite a few of my viewers are from Northern California and I had a couple people asking me about it uh, locally. Um, and there's uh, there's quite a bit of information on it out there, folks, but I uh, just wanted to uh, you know, let everyone know it's nothing to worry about, nothing to freak out about. Um, I believe the activity that we're still seeing in Northern California is just due to the uh, uh, trimmer that's still taking place out there. I'm pretty sure it's still going on. They have not updated it yet, uh, but we will check the trimmer a little bit later on this evening, about 6.30 my time when they come out with the uh, uh, trimmer map along the Cascadia. That's an area uh, here in the Pacific Northwest, stretches up from uh, Northern California all the way up past Vancouver Island. Okay, it's a Juan de Fuca plate subduction, subducting underneath the North American plate. This is known as the Cascadia Megathrust Fault. When we get the Juan de Fuca fault or a Juan de Fuca plate uh, doing some subduction down here underneath the North American plate, it causes slippage and it's called trimmer. It's easily picked up on some sensitive equipment, but it's unlike, uh, it's not like uh, normal earthquakes where you get sudden release of pressure. It's more or less like a, uh, a vibration, if you will, of, of the uh, plates just doing a little. Uh, vibrational dance or movement, if you will. Um, and when that takes place, we've been seeing up here in the uh, central coast of Oregon uh, for a couple weeks now. Ultimately, that affects the land around it. Um, and of course, how you get volcanoes, right? The subduction, uh, the plate going down and melting and coming back up is uh, magma. It happens. So ultimately, um, it causes other stress and um, other dynamics below the ground uh, that, that could create or activate old fault systems out there. Um, even though we, you know, we don't get a lot here in the Chico area, it does happen occasionally here and there. And uh, I believe that's strictly due to the trimmer uh, that's taken place in the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. This is just from yesterday. Show you guys a little example. Uh, we did see a little increase in activity in Northern California, Northern end of the Sacramento Valley. Uh, but most of the activity has been confined to Oregon up here along the coastline, and it's been massive. It's been going on for a couple weeks now, uh, averaging between three and 500 epicenters of trimmer, specifically in this area. 
Uh, so it's something to, um, you know, it's, I want to see what the update's going to look like tonight uh, when they come out with the uh, latest um, map here. But we'll have to wait. So anyway, folks, um, yeah, I figure I'd just cover this little earthquake because I had a couple people talking about it, wondering what's going on, you know. Is it fracking related? No, I don't believe it's fracking related because there's a fault system that runs right through here before you get into the foothills. Um, it just USGS isn't showing it for whatever reason. I might have to use a different uh, map or incorporate something else uh, so you guys can see these little unknown fault systems here. They're known, but they just, for whatever reason, the USGS doesn't want to include um, every single possible one that's that's possible <laughs> so but it's nice to have on a map uh, to where you can show and explain uh, a little bit more of of the location of where it's at but it just runs right here just right on the east side of the of the uh, foothills here right before you get into the foothills uh, right there just uh, east of chico so anyway guys we will be back a little bit later when the trimmer map comes out with a more in-depth earthquake update for today uh, right now still looking at uh not too much uh, aftershock activity following that 6.8 in Japan yesterday off the coast of Japan. Still looking for possible significant movement there. Um, just hasn't it hasn't happened. So we're kind of in limbo at the moment. Uh, we'll we'll check we'll check that out a little bit later on, folks. In the meantime, have a good day. Um, live stream is up and running. If you are watching the update video, come on <coughs> coming over to live stream. We'll catch you guys a little bit later. Stay safe.